Hey everyone and welcome back to Out of Here Baseball. In this video, we'll be looking at some of the most hyped up MLB debuts. Whether it be a top prospect, last year's top draft pick, or a foreign superstar, baseball fans love to see the next big thing make their major league debut. Recently, top prospect Vladimir Guerrero Jr. made his highly anticipated debut for the Blue Jays, and it got me thinking about some of the other notable debuts in MLB history. It proved difficult to make this a top 10 list, so instead, players are put into groups based on why their debut was so anticipated. With that said, let's get right into our list of the most hyped MLB debuts. We'll start with some notable debuts from before the expansion era, which is before the 1960s. It's difficult to get a gauge on the level of hype surrounding players before the age of the internet, as news didn't travel nearly as fast. Players such as Joe DiMaggio, Willie Mays, and Mickey Mantle were young stars in the minor leagues who quickly made a name for themselves in the majors and received large media attention thanks in part to playing in New York. A 17-year-old Bob Feller made his debut for the Indians in 1936 and quickly became a star pitcher with his incredible strikeout rate. Of course, we need to mention Jackie Robinson as his debut was probably the most talked about on this list when he broke the color barrier in 1947. But we should also mention Satchel Paige, a Negro League superstar pitcher who made his debut with the Indians in 1948 while at age 42. Next we'll touch on some of the big pitching debuts of the last half century. Chances are you haven't heard of David Clyde. He was a left-hander from Houston, Texas, billed as the next Sandy Koufax, and the Rangers decided to draft him first overall in 1973 out of high school. In a controversial move, he was called straight up to the Major League team drawing in a huge crowd but struggling as an 18-year-old. Injuries and an overall lack of Major League readiness cut Clyde's career short, but he is credited with saving the Texas Rangers franchise financially due to his high popularity. Dwight Gooden would also debut as a teenager, but to much greater success as he ended up winning Rookie of the Year in 1984 for the Mets. LeVon Hernandez gained notoriety upon his debut with the Marlins in 1996, due to him being a Cuban defector and Miami's large Cuban population. Mark Pryor would debut for the Cubs in 2002 as one of the most decorated collegiate pitchers ever and made just nine minor league starts prior to receiving his big league call-up. More recently, David Price was a September call-up for the Rays in 2008, giving the team another quality arm for their first ever playoff run. And we can't talk hype pitching prospects without mentioning Steven Strasburg, who a year after being taken number one overall in the draft, struck out 14 Pirates in his debut for the Nationals on June 9, 2010. Also warranting a mention here is Fernando Valenzuela, who made his debut late in 1980 for the Dodgers, but stole headlines in his official rookie season in 1981, prompting Fernando Mania. Moving on to our next category of hype debuts, and we have our Japanese superstars. We have to begin with Hideo Nomo, who paved the way for the current crop of Japanese stars to come to the MLB. Nomo won Rookie of the Year in 1995 and became iconic for his unique pitching delivery. Next came Ichiro, who became the first Japanese position player to play in the US, and lived up to his high expectations by winning MVP and Rookie of the Year in 2001. After that came Hideki Matsui in 2003 with the Yankees, and Daisuke Matsuzaka in 2007 with the Red Sox, who had won MVP for Japan in the World Baseball Classic the year prior. Yu Darvish and Masahiro Tanaka are among the other Japanese stars to come to the MLB, and of course we have to mention Shohei Otani. Dubbed the Japanese Babe Ruth, Otani was one of the biggest stories in 2018, as he hit and pitched to great success and has opened the door to more two-way players in the majors in the future. Our next category is for players who are seen as the new face of the franchise for their respective teams. You could call this category the franchise saviors, as these are the players who are high draft picks and expected to turn their team into perennial contenders. The first of these players is Daryl Strawberry, who came up for the Mets in 1983, with the Mets failing to win more than 70 games in any of the past five seasons. Jason Hayward was an Atlanta area native who debuted for the Braves on opening day 2010. How did the Braves view him at the time? Well, he caught the ceremonial first pitch thrown by Hank Aaron and followed that up with a home run in his first at bat. Bryce Harper debuted for the Nationals as a teenager in 2012, already carrying with him tales of monstrous home runs he hit while a high schooler. He would go on to win Rookie of the Year honors in the National League, but fellow rookie Mike Trout more or less stole the headlines that year. 
In 2015, Chris Bryant was the rookie sensation and helped the Cubs reach the playoffs that season, and then follow up with an MVP and World Series winning season the next year. And then in 2018, Ronald Acuna Jr. was the talk of the National League when he made his debut for the Braves in April, and like Harper and Bryant, would win Rookie of the Year. Before our final category, we have to bring up Bo Jackson, who I couldn't put into any other category because I don't know Bo. You don't know Bo. But anyway, Bo Jackson became a fan favorite of the Royals in 1986 with his elite athleticism and would go on to be an all-star in the MLB and NFL. Now for the last category, which we may as well call the next big thing. This category is reserved for only those prospects who are viewed as absolutely the best of the best, and only three players are in this group. First is Ken Griffey Jr., the son of Reds outfielder Ken Griffey Sr., and the player tasked with bringing a championship to Seattle. Griffey Jr. became the face of baseball, and no one has been able to replicate his level of success, popularity, and swagger in baseball since his peak in the 90s. A few years later, Alex Rodriguez debuted for Griffey's Mariners and had a similar tool set to that of his teammate, the only difference being he played at shortstop. A-Rod lived up to the hype by taking home multiple MVP awards in his career, but his popularity wasn't quite the same as Griffey's. We end with the most recent player to debut, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Like Griffey, Guerrero is the son of a former big leaguer and has a similar tool set to that of his Hall of Fame dad. Just 20 years old at the time of his debut, Vlad Jr. has lofty expectations, but having excelled at every level of the minors, we can all hope he carries that success with him while on the Blue Jays. So that concludes our list of the most hyped MLB debuts. Did we leave anyone out? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay notified on all the latest Out of Here Baseball content. Thanks for watching.